Hi, welcome to my channel, White Raven's Cauldron. This evening I'm going to be reading for Scorpio. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Cross watchers, you're welcome here as well. This is going to be for December 21st, but remember timing is fluid, so there may be something here from the past. I do swear during my readings, so if this isn't the energy for you, then you need to go find another tarot card reader. So what is coming towards Scorpio, please, December 21st? What is coming towards Scorpio, December 21st? Oof. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun. Okay. Okay, what's coming towards Scorpio, December 21st? Oof, the Emperor reversed. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, this is definitely a challenge, Scorpio, the Emperor Reversed. This is somebody who is quite bullyish, um, very narcissistic, very overbearing, very overpowering. Somebody who likes to have their own way, very greedy and self-centred, and it's all about them. This is the Emperor Show. This is somebody who has all the empathy in the world for themselves and their problems, but they don't have empathy for anybody else. And this is also a problem maker. So they create drama. They create drama between friends, family, um, you know, going from one person to another. Could be trouble causing. Um, it could also be having issues with a father, brother or male friend of some sort. Or it could be an ex-partner. Um, it's similar to the King of Swords of Best. It's very narcissistic and very shallow as well. There's no feelings with the Emperor. It's definitely a bullyish energy. So what's the strength when facing this for Scorpio, please? What's the strength when facing this for Scorpio? Ugh, the Ten of Wands. So you're shouldering all the burden, uh, burden Scorpio, again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you may have physical back problems or somebody you're dealing with has got physical back problems, but this is... You need to you need to learn what is important. You've got way too many issues, responsibilities, and you're just getting bogged down with it. You're tired, you're exhausted. And a lot of these responsibilities aren't yours. A lot of the problems or the issues or, or it's everybody else's shit. It's everybody else's fuckery and you're just taking it on your shoulders. You're just struggling along, carrying this burden and there's no help. What's the weakness, please, when facing this? And I think you're taking a lot of shit from this person. You are. You're taking a lot of shit. They're just expecting you to do everything. What's the weakness, please? Strength. So, sign of Leo. There could be a Leo involved. The weakness is you're dealing with somebody who's extremely arrogant and they've got a very, very strong personality trait. They really don't give a toss about your feelings. They really are all about themselves. And they don't even notice you struggling. They just seem to think you can take it. They don't care that you're struggling. They think that you're strong. If you're coming across as a strong character or a strong person, that's all they see. They just see you as a robot, not as a human being. And even though you may think you've got the strength to go through this, it's not long before you break. Can you have advice for this reading for Scorpio? Advice. Okay, so we've got the High Priestess and the Eight of Wands reversed. You know what you need to do, Scorpio, but you're just point blank refusing. You're, you've shut off communication. This person may have shut up communication with you. You know exactly what's going on. And the High Priestess, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Again, they've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You need to break free. You know exactly what needs doing. You've got the initials uh, JB or BJ. But you know exactly what needs to be done. But for whatever reason, you're holding off. You're holding back. Um, there could be a lot of... Um, malicious um, communication with this person as well or you may not be in communication at all they may be ghosting you of some sort but the universe is, is in your guard to begging you to, to tap into your, your intuition you know you have the answers to this situation you know what you need to do to break free what's the emperor reverse for Scorpio please <clears throat> the 
queen of coins so yeah this is a very very a very successful person they 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 do work hard and they they're very this is somebody who could be self employed have some sort of self employment hmm could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn but somebody is letting money go to their head and you are the queen in this situation, but I can see you're shouldering way too much. Maybe you're attached to this lifestyle that they create. Almost like the home and the money, like everything else is available and there and ready that suits you, except the person you live with. What's the Ten of Wands for Scorpio? Qualify the Ten of Wands. The Empress so off the back some of you may be pregnant or heavily pregnant and again you're still taking on all the responsibilities all the duties you are an, an extremely good mother or father you're very motherly very fatherly you're very empathetic you take good care of yourself you take good care of your home but I think all these responsibilities everything seems to fall on your back all the time and even though you like creating the home and creating a nice clean space for yourself and your family you're still struggling, you're shouldering all the burdens. Um, the Empress also indicates you wanting to venture out and do something for yourself. And the universe, again, is screaming for you to do that because you will be more successful. What's the strength card, please? Clarify the strength card. So we've got that high priestess again. So two high priestesses in a reading with the empress is you are more than what this person could ever imagine. But for whatever reason, I feel like you're hiding. You do know a lot of truths and you are ready to bring that cold dish of karma to be served to this person in the karma cafe. Like you, this person is making you have uh, iron spam because they are completely spineless so you you are the one with the iron spam here and with two high priestesses it's saying you know you could be you may be a little bit too reliant on tarot card readers or psychics to, to to get answers when the answer really lies within yourself the universe is saying you know what needs to be done but there is also a warning here with two high priestesses can you clarify the high priestess and eight of wands reverse yeah, it could be dealing with a pisces The chariot choices making a choice and going with it you need to make a choice and go with it the universe is saying it's got your back it won't let you make any mistakes could be dealing with a cancer you won't go wrong could be getting a new vehicle for somebody as well or traveling needing to travel but this is taking control final outcome please for scorpio two of cups so yeah it's definitely a relationship we're dealing with here and you do love this person very much there's just a lot of negativity that's going on and for whatever reason somebody may be prematurely giving up on this connection and um, not staying have no staying power and i think either you or this person has walked away before but it's almost like they're in and out all the time again cancer scorpio pisces can you have a queen of the moon please with pisces change so changes on the horizon can i have a seven energies for scorpio please oh that's a very powerful card the divine matrix and um, so this card is indicating that it's time to accept change. You know, life, you need to accept life. Like the seasons, things always change and there is a change that's about to happen. And it's asking you to take advantage of the change that's coming, but to also plan ahead for it. Because this will stand you in good stead uh, for the future. Now the Divine Matrix is 
the realm of spirit, the knowledge that we are all divine beings, is part of a tapestry weaving our dreams into the fabric of reality. Synchronicity, it's learning to trust the way things unfold. So this is all about why this high priestess is here. You already know answers to things. Um, and this is all part of your life's path. You know, it, it's all about, I heard it out of a film before, when things go wrong, it's just a drop stitch in life's tapestry. You can just re-stitch it, you can go back. But it's also, le it's, it's about learning to trust why things happen the way they do. And just go with it. So I'll leave that there, Scorpio. This was for December 21st. Like, share, subscribe. Keep your kitchen witch happy by giving me a big thumbs up. Again, let me know if this resonates in the comment section and I'll see you all again soon.